Avi Loeb, chair of the Harvard University Astronomy Department, said Oumuamua did not behave like an ordinary asteroid or give off gas like a comet. Apophis is the closest thing we know about to an asteroid that could really give us a bad day. This thing would wipe out a city no problem. Imagine a mysterious rock from another star system just dropping by. That's Oumuamua, and it's as bizarre as you'd expect. This discovery reignited talks about the wild idea that life might hitch ride across space on comets and asteroids, possibly planting the seeds of life across different galaxies. Then there's Borisov, another interstellar wanderer caught earlier and offering clues about its origin. What if these mysterious visitors are carrying secrets from far off worlds? Let us expose the unknown and uncover what the government and NASA have been hiding. Interstellar Hitchhikers in response to Oumuamua's strange nature, astronomers proposed Project Lyra. This mission aims to send a probe to intercept Oumuamua or similar objects in the future. Using Earth's and Jupiter's gravity as a slingshot, the probe would travel fast enough to catch these interstellar visitors. While planning Project Lyra, another interstellar object named Borisov was discovered. Unlike Oumuamua, Borisov was spotted earlier in its journey, allowing for more observation time. It shed material and had different compositions across its surface, suggesting it might have formed close to its star before being flung outward. These discoveries not only deepen our understanding of solar system formation and interstellar objects, but also bring us closer to finding potentially habitable environments beyond our solar system. They help unravel the complex dynamics of the universe. This mysterious world, which we haven't yet explained, might be bigger and more unknown than any planet near us. These exciting ideas, even though we don't have solid proof yet, shouldn't be ignored. They're based on advanced math models and computer simulations. Scientists talk about this possible planet because that's what they do best. If it exists, it could explain many strange things happening beyond Neptune, especially in the Kuiper Belt, a large donut-shaped area full of icy pieces from the early solar system including comets and dwarf planets like Pluto. One odd thing about this area is that six distant objects have elliptical orbits that line up in a strange way, tilted about 30 degrees from the plane where our eight known planets are. This unusual alignment, despite different speeds, is very rare, only a 0.07% chance. That's where the idea of Planet Nine comes in, a huge planet that might be pulling these objects with its gravity. At first, people doubted this theory, thinking it might be due to observational mistakes or math errors. But in 2017, new studies brought the idea back. Spanish astronomers used a new method, looking at celestial bodies with long orbits far beyond Neptune, called extreme trans-Neptunian objects. These objects, which travel more than 13 billion miles in stretch paths, might be influenced by Planet Nine's gravity, especially where their orbits cross the solar system's plane. Here, their paths are likely to be disturbed, causing changes or collisions. The stable paths of these objects suggest a normal situation, but any changes point to an outside force, a big gravitational pull from far away. Researchers saw oddities hinting at just such a disturbance. This hidden force, possibly from a planet 300 to 400 times farther from the Sun than Earth, matches past events where unexplained orbits led to new planet discoveries. For example, Neptune was found because Uranus's orbit didn't fit predictions, but another planet's gravity explained it. Fast forward to 2021, and interest in Planet Nine has grown again. New calculations suggest this hidden planet might orbit the Sun every 7,000 years, making it easier to find. This closeness increases the chance of discovery, with recent studies showing a 99% likelihood that these strange orbits are due to this unseen planet not just random. This confidence now suggesting a one in 250 chance of error instead of the old one in 10,000 odds renews our hope. Scientists in Hawaii created a kind of treasure map using the panoramic survey telescope and rapid response system, narrowing down where this hidden planet might be by 78%. Even with these advances, planet nine is still hidden, far out in our solar system. Yet ongoing efforts and belief in its existence keep scientists and space fans excited, waiting for the day we might finally find Earth's new cosmic neighbor. Next, we explore the stars and beyond. 
the launch of Vera C. Ruin Observatory. In the heart of Chile, a huge project is taking shape, the Vera C. Ruin Observatory. This incredible facility is expected to be ready by late 2025 and will spend 10 years exploring the southern skies. Its massive 27-ton telescope, equipped with the world's largest digital camera, will scan the heavens every few nights. The goal is to catalog everything from space debris to asteroids, comets, and stars. And if the mysterious Planet 9 exists, this observatory might be the one to find it. But the search for Planet 9 has divided the scientific community. Some experts think a cluster of distant objects like dwarf planets, comets, and moons causes the strange orbits observed beyond Neptune. Others believe a nearby black hole might be twisting space and affecting these objects in the same way Planet 9 would. Yet another theory is gaining attention, modified Newtonian dynamics. This idea suggests the odd behaviors of distant icy bodies aren't due to another planet, but the Milky Way's own gravitational forces. Though this theory has supporters, they admit there's still no conclusive evidence and more research is needed. Meanwhile, some astronomers are already talking about a planet 10. This possible planet, maybe the size of Mars or Earth, could be hiding on the edge of the Kuiper Belt. However, if planet 10 is as small as some think, it might not have enough gravity to clear its orbit of debris, similar to why Pluto was reclassified in 2006. Earth's magnetic field has been getting weaker over the past 3,000 years. If this continues, it could be a big problem in the next thousand years. Imagine the magnetic north and south poles switching places. This could weaken Earth's protective shield, letting in harmful cosmic rays. These rays could mess up satellites and pose serious health risks. The last time this happened was almost 774,000 years ago. But scientists are studying the possibility by looking at seafloor sediments and fossils. The South Atlantic anomaly is a region where Earth's magnetic field is very weak, and it's drawing a lot of interest from scientists. By studying data from many satellites, researchers hope to understand why this anomaly exists and how it might change in the future. This research could help us understand the effects of a weakened magnetic field on Earth and our technology. Even though we might not see these magnetic changes in our lifetime, they raise fascinating questions about our planet's future. In the larger cosmic picture, NASA astronomers predict a huge event in about 4 billion years, a collision between galaxies. The Milky Way is on course for a massive crash that will transform our galactic neighborhood. This isn't just a small event, but a major collision that could open up new possibilities for our galaxy. Hold on to your space helmets. In about 4 billion years, our neighboring Andromeda galaxy will collide with the Milky Way. But don't worry, this cosmic event might sound like a disaster, but the Sun and Earth are likely to be fine. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope tells us that even though these galaxies will merge, the vast distances between stars mean there's no danger of them crashing into each other. Instead, the stars will be shuffled into new orbits around their new galactic centers, possibly moving our solar system farther from the galactic core than ever before. Let's focus on something happening much sooner. Saturn is losing its iconic rings. According to NASA, a ring rain of ice particles pulled by Saturn's magnetic field is draining these magnificent rings. Imagine enough water to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool disappearing from Saturn's rings every half hour. In just 300 million years, Saturn's rings might vanish completely. Current theories suggest that these rings weren't there when Saturn was born, but formed later, possibly from the collision of icy moons disrupted by gravitational pulls from passing celestial bodies. Now let's look at how humans might change in the future. The drifting moon. Speaking of big changes, let's think about humanity's future evolution. Today we stand tall and sturdy, but as Earth becomes more crowded, we might evolve to be smaller to conserve energy. Our constant interaction in densely populated areas makes remembering names more critical, but future technology, like brain implants, could enhance our memory. Imagine having an artificial eye that reads multiple light frequencies. While it's hard to predict exactly how we'll change, bioinformatics gives us a glimpse into our near future, suggesting more genetic diversity in cities while rural areas may see less. But wait, there's more! 
Our cosmic neighborhood is also changing. The moon, our constant companion, is drifting away from Earth, and in about five billion years, it will witness dramatic changes. As the sun expands into its red giant phase, it will engulf the Earth and the moon, possibly shattering the moon into a ring of debris around Earth. Mountains, craters, and remnants of human exploration included in the celestial wreckage. These scenarios may sound like scenes from a sci-fi movie, but they're based on current scientific understanding and remind us of the dynamic universe we live in. So as we go through our days, let's cherish the view of Saturn's rings and the night sky filled with stars and possibilities, knowing that one day, even these familiar sights will transform into something new and equally amazing. A small asteroid hit Earth. By 2016, NASA sent a spacecraft named OSIRIS-REx to explore and collect samples from a safer asteroid called Bennu. After four years of travel, the spacecraft reached Bennu, gathered samples, and returned to Earth. These samples were dropped safely in Utah, marking a major achievement in space exploration. But this wasn't the most exciting part. After finishing its mission with Bennu, the spacecraft, now renamed OSIRIS Apex, set off to chase a bigger asteroid named Apophis. By April 2nd, 2029, when Apophis comes close to Earth, OSIRIS Apex aims to land on it for an 18-month mission. This time will be spent collecting data and taking many photos to understand the asteroid better. Powerful telescopes will help monitor Apophis, especially as it moves closer to the Sun. This is a crucial time for OSIRIS Apex to gather important data. People in Europe, West Asia, and Africa will have a rare chance to see Apophis with the naked eye in 2029. Those with telescopes can see it again in 2036. However, there are challenges. OSIRIS Apex will find that Apophis has a thick crust, making data collection harder compared to Bennu. But the spacecraft has a special thruster to clear away dust during landing, helping it study the asteroid's surface more easily. Over 18 months, it will map Apophis, track changes, and learn about its movement in space. Understanding these asteroids is crucial to protect Earth from potential impacts. In 2025, NASA plans to launch APUS Pathfinder, a mission to land on another asteroid. This mission, set to land a year after launch, will be the first of its kind. NASA is also thinking about sending many small spacecraft to develop defense tactics against asteroid threats. Apophis comes from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It got pulled closer to the Sun and Earth by Jupiter's gravity. This makes it a near-Earth object, important for research. To prevent an asteroid impact, scientists consider options like drilling to create internal explosions, attaching rockets to change its path, or hitting it with high-speed projectiles. Next up, let's uncover the secrets of a distant asteroid. Apophis in the origins of life. You see, Apophis is an S-type asteroid made of iron, nickel, and other minerals, and it's shaped like a peanut. Studying it can teach us about Earth's early conditions and the origins of life. Some theories suggest that water and essential life components came to Earth via asteroids and comets. These space rocks are well-preserved compared to Earth's changing surface, making them valuable for study. Furthermore, asteroids like Apophis may hold large amounts of precious metals like platinum, which are in high demand for various industries. Mining these materials from space is becoming more possible with new rocket technologies, though the cost of bringing them back to Earth is still a big challenge. Even though we are safe from Apophis for the next century, the question of what could happen if an asteroid hit Earth is always on our minds. The collision would be loud and dramatic, changing our planet in many ways. If you're far from the center of a disaster, don't wait. Leave your home or apartment right away. After a big disaster, expect strong earthquakes that will knock down many tall buildings. It's best to get away from city centers as they will likely suffer the most damage. But trying to drive isn't a good idea. The roads will quickly fill up with cars as people panic, making it almost impossible to travel by car. Walking or biking is much safer and more practical. If you can, think about flying as an escape route. This could be the perfect time to use that pilot license if you have one. Pack essentials like extra snacks, water, and an extra pair of socks. Usually living near the ocean is nice, but not in this case. Huge tsunami waves caused by the disaster will hit the coastlines. People living farther from the impact will have about 30 hours before the tsunami reaches them. 
giving them time to prepare and leave. Now the James Webb Space Telescope is like the universe's best photographer, taking amazing pictures of stars, galaxies, and planets. If you love looking at the night sky, the JWST's photos are like a treasure chest of beautiful cosmic images. Take the Carina Nebula, for example. It's about 7,500 light years away and spans about 260 light years. Often called the Cosmic Cliffs, this nebula is full of young, huge stars, some much bigger and more energetic than our sun. These stars light up the surrounding gas and dust, creating a beautiful sight. However, the Carina Nebula isn't just a peaceful star nursery, it's also a place for some of the universe's most violent events. Massive shock waves move through the nebula, disrupting star formation and breaking up nearby material. But that's not the end of the story. Another amazing sight captured by the JWST is Stefan's Quintet, a group of five galaxies in the constellation Pegasus, about 290 million light years from Earth. These galaxies are in a constant cosmic dance, pulling and tugging at each other, exchanging gas and dust. These interactions often lead to galactic collisions and mergers, sparking new star formations and even supernovae. The stunning images taken by the JWST show these dramatic events, offering a glimpse into the complex relationships within this galaxy group. Moving on, we dive into the wonders of our solar system. A glimpse beyond cosmic clouds, and there's more. Let's not forget Jupiter, the giant of our solar system. Known for its huge size, many moons, and swirling clouds, Jupiter also has a ring system, though it's not as prominent as Saturn's. These rings are made of fine dust particles that orbit the planet. Jupiter's atmosphere is home to spectacular auroras, more intense and colorful than those on Earth, caused by solar wind particles interacting with Jupiter's magnetic field. The JWST has captured these brilliant light shows, giving us a new look at the gas giant's atmospheric wonders. In the vastness of space, we see amazing wonders like the Cartwheel Galaxy, Captured by NASA on August 2nd, this galaxy gets its name from its wheel-like shape. It's a huge collection of stars, gas, and dust, spinning outward like a pinwheel. These arms, which circle around a supermassive black hole at the center, tell the story of a cosmic crash. A smaller galaxy once collided with a larger one, causing a shockwave that shaped the galaxy's current form. Thinking about visiting such a galaxy makes you dream of an extraordinary journey across the stars. Next, we have Spiral Galaxy M74, shown to us by NASA on July 22nd. The James Webb Space Telescope had to look through thick cosmic dust to reveal this beautiful star cluster. M74 is known as a grand design galaxy because of its clearly defined spiral arms. In these arms, a lot of cosmic events happen. Stars explode in supernovas, new stars are born in clouds of gas, and glowing gas creates a stunning cosmic display. The beauty and activity of M74 show the complexity and elegance of spiral galaxies. The Tarantula Nebula, seen in an image released on September 6th, stretches 340 light years across. Located 160,000 light years from Earth in the Large Magellanic Cloud, it's a busy nursery for stars, shining brightly against the dark space. The nebula's name comes from its spider-like look, hinting at its huge size and energy. Home to some of the universe's biggest stars, the Tarantula Nebula gives us a peek into the past, showing us what the universe was like when it was young and star formation was at its peak. Then there's Neptune's rings and moons, beautifully captured in a photo published on September 21st, 2022. This image shows Neptune's lesser-known rings and six moons, including the bright Triton. Unlike Saturn's flashy rings, Neptune's rings are subtle but interesting, made of fine cosmic dust. These rings, younger than Uranus's, probably form from the breakup of an inner moon, giving us a glimpse into the active and sometimes violent processes that shape our solar system. However, the surprises don't end there. The Pillars of Creation, made famous by the Hubble Telescope and shown again in a photo released on October 19th, stand tall within the Eagle Nebula. Rising about five light years high, these pillars look like huge rock formations but are much more delicate. 
This area is a busy spot for star birth, where new stars form from thick clouds of dust and gas. The pillars not only amaze with their size and beauty, but also look like a grand scene from a Hollywood movie, full of natural splendor and cosmic energy. Could human activity ever directly impact these distant astronomical wonders? Share your views below. If you enjoyed exploring the celestial mysteries of Neptune's rings and the awe-inspiring pillars of creation, consider liking this video, leaving your thoughts in the comments, and subscribing for more.